We have spent almost six years on this You have got study. to get you know out of here. That it is and miss all the good stuff that's coming? Will, she will be here any minute. That's the good stuff that's coming. In the Swiss Please. composers. Swiss composers, Mr. Sutton? That's right, Miss Barnes. Well, I don't imagine that it is a field that the musical archaeologists would find particularly rewarding, but it is a rich field in which my groundbreaking scholarship has cultivated a rich harvest. It must have taken a lot of fertilizer. We would like to hear hear the, hear the story um, that Miss Burns was Bernsey. telling about, that Bernsey was telling He's about. Calling uh, her Bernsey. What was it, Bannister? Some incredible adventure you had on your flight here? Yes. No. I'm afraid my Howard is too modest to tell you that story himself. But what? it all began shortly after we passed the point of no return. I think we just passed. When the servo amplifiers in the directional gyro failed, and the flux valve refused to disconnect, one of the pilots fainted from an oversupply of fear and went into this power dive. Well, Howard took his igneous rock formations into the cockpit and selected two of them with a particularly high magnetic content and set up an electrically induced field pattern on the gyro I'm having a nightmare. What seems to be the problem? This lady claims to be a Eunice Burns. I am not a Eunice Burns. I am the Eunice Burns. I don't have a badge for a Eunice Burns. Of course not. Miss Burns is wearing her badge. She's already gone inside. <laughs> that is impossible. Perhaps you're at the wrong convention. This is outrageous. And just possibly saving 112 passengers from a tragic, fiery death. Absolutely incredible. I find that story intensely moving. Mm -hmm. I find that story as difficult to swallow as I do this potage en How would you like to swallow one sandwiched on knuckles? I've got to talk to you privately. Meet me under the table. What? Oh, my goodness. There goes my napkin. So far, so good, huh? Don't you understand anything? Like, like Eunice. Nope, I don't understand Eunice. She will be here any minute. You've got to stop repeating yourself. I am not repeating myself. I am not repeating myself. Oh, God, I'm repeating Listen, myself. Steve, you don't want to marry Eunice. I'm not Steve. I'm Howard. Neither of you want to marry Eunice. Why do you say that? But you don't want to marry someone who's going to get all wrinkled, lined, and flabby. Everybody gets wrinkled, lined, and flabby. By next week? Hey, what's going on down here? You two just can't keep away from each other, can you? <laughs> oh, we're just talking. Are you all right, Mr. Larry? Can I help? No, I'm fine. We we're just chatting. Uh huh. What's going on? Anything wrong? No, no, no. Just testing a theory how it has about vocal reverberation under spinal pressure. What? Vocal reverberation under spinal pressure? You know, VRUSP. Oh, oh, of course. Yes, I think I read a monograph on that. Charles, what kind of wine are you serving at table one? I'm telling you, Bannister, this girl of yours is fun. F-U-N. And if you win that grant, well, you can consider it her victory as well as your own. You follow me? I... I... I certainly do. Who is that dangerously unbalanced woman? I never saw her before in my life. 